G'day everyone, and this is a recording showing some mods that I've downloaded uh, on this particular vehicle. I added some crew and some skirts to it. Um, as you can see, it's the Panzer 3E. Um, I was able to actually get the crew and the skirts uh, mods to uh, work together with this. On on the other Panzers, um, you get uh, other things. Um, this particular one, the Panzer 4A, doesn't give you skirts or crew, but it does give you uh, these mods that you can stick, which is equipment on the outside of the tanks. Um, the uh, you can see gives you different hatch um, equipment on the sides, and that, and even uh, gives you some battle damage on some of them, and that. Um, you can see on this one up the top here, and uh, even some on the side just there. Um, <coughs> this is the Panzer 3J. Uh, you get the skirts. I also put uh, a mod to add the equipment that's inside the, the turret skirts. Unfortunately, when you add that mod, you can't add the crew mod. So I left the crew mod off and went with the um, equipment. And I think it looks a lot better than having the crew sitting outside. <coughs> For this particular tank at least and uh, actually since doing this um, this is the Panzer 3-4 uh, I've got uh, all the equipment on the outside of the tank the skirts uh, and all the equipment up the top um, as I was saying uh, since getting these mods uh, the World of Tanks has had an update and all the old um, it updated everything uh, in the folder on that and all the old bloody updates have been removed and replaced with the brand new update so I end up losing all my mods uh, so I've had I've been for the last couple of days been re, uh, re downloading the mods that I've had and putting them in and trying to get them to work because some mods have problems uh, of even update uh, downloaded some uh, extra mods uh, for the background so that uh, I actually changed uh, I haven't played any games yet with the new mods, but uh, I've changed the um, uh, the tar uh, well, not, well, not targeting, but the uh, when you're looking through the tank to fire at tank uh, enemy tanks, uh, the targeting system is uh, I've changed that so I can see it a lot easier. Um, uh, I did do some mods for British tanks, but this is actually a Russian tank, which is a Lend Lease one. Um, it was, uh, uh, yeah, the M3 Stewart that I got this mod for, but after losing these mods, I decided not to do this one again because basically I was l losing my uh, camouflage scheme and whatever uh, emblems I stuck on it, so I decided not to go with this mod again. Um, just checking these to see which mods I've um, done. Uh, this one, the uh, T6. Has changed slightly the uh, outward appearance of the tank, so it looks more like a Sherman, and has had a lot more equipment around the body and on the turret. Um, it just looks a little bit better. It looks uh, with all the equipment on, it looks a lot better than that. Uh, you've got the logs, you've got that towing cable, um, the helmets and everything on the turret. It uh, just looks way better uh, in this. And when I changed the size of the gun. Uh, it actually changes um, the turret a little bit, or I should say the gun on the turret a bit as well, uh, to a different type. And then um, this particular one here, uh, which is the M4A1, uh, this mod was actually called the Mule. I can't find this mod again. All it's done uh, is change the body to the same as the T6 basically, and just added a new turret. Uh, all these mods. Um, you only see, from my point of view, uh, all the other players, um, they don't see this at all. Um, they just see all the tanks as normal. It's just from uh, my point of view. It's, and it's not just my tanks, it's tanks that are like my tanks or mods that are downloaded for different tanks. Uh, even the other players' tanks will have those mods on it from my point of view. Their tanks won't actually change at all. Uh, so it's only uh, from my point of view that these mods change uh, how things look, and um, that's it.